Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm awfully glad you've stopped by. I hope to talk about all things tea and tea related items here. Um, this is actually my very first video so thank you again for stopping by and uh, please bear with me. I'm just a little bit nervous and not quite sure what I'm doing here so <laughs> thank you very much. I appreciate you being here. Mm. That's awfully good. That's Earl Grey. And that is usually what's in my teacup because I absolutely adore it. Tea as a drink um, goes back really thousands of years in China. It's said that a Chinese emperor on about 2700 BC was boiling water to drink, which was the fashion of the day. And as the water was boiling, um, a few leaves from a nearby Camellia sinensis plant, which is the tea plant, floated down into the water and he noticed that it changed color and there was this aroma that came from it. So he drank it and he liked it. And from then on, tea became at first a medicinal drink and then later a drink for uh, pleasure. So um, that's how that got started. Then it was on about the 17th century, probably around the mid 1600s. It is said Portuguese traders brought tea then to the West and introduced it. And from there, all the exporting uh, started from China. But it wasn't until Queen Victoria of England was on the throne in the 19th century, most of the 1800s, that afternoon tea really became a thing. In those days, the evening meal among elite people was actually quite late, around eight o'clock in the evening. And the only other meal before that was held around 11 o'clock in the morning. So from 11 a.m. to 8 p.m., there was really nothing to speak of in between. And one of Queen Victoria's uh, ladies-in-waiting, a, a woman by the name of Anna Russell, she was the Duchess of Bedford, she noticed that she was feeling that, oi, what I wouldn't do for a cup of tea kind of feeling. So she had them bring her tea and a little bread and butter and oh, maybe a few cakes and liked that, boosted her a little bit. She's thinking, I think I can do this. So she began to invite her friends over one of whom would have been Queen Victoria, and afternoon tea was born. Now, of course, the Victorians never did anything halfway. When anything interested them, they went all out. And so by the 1880s, there were all kinds of tea accoutrements for afternoon tea, even the little boxes, the little chests, tea chests that tea was kept in under lock and key because tea in those days was quite expensive. Then that even became quite uh, elaborate and the clothing changed. Tea gowns became a thing for women to wear when they attended these little gatherings. So afternoon tea became quite a significant part of the day. Which brings me to the term afternoon tea, the name Although some people assume afternoon tea and high tea are the same thing, they're really not. They're very different meals. Unfortunately, I think it's tourists coming to England in recent years looking for high tea that have influenced some of the hotels and restaurants because when I was there most recently, I noted that there were a few menus that actually called it high tea. But that's not the same thing. Um, I honestly hope that doesn't catch on. <laughs> it gets a little confusing because many people, particularly Americans, of which I am one, tend to assume that high in the name of anything means special or posh or fancy or you know, top of the, of the heap, as it were. Um, high ground, high note, highfalutin. Um, but High tea is not the fancy one. Afternoon tea was originally served on very low tables in drawing rooms. In fact, 
There are times it's even called low tea. Now, not very much anymore, but afternoon tea and low tea are actually one and the same thing. That Those titles are interchangeable. But high tea, alternatively, also refers to the height of the table on which it's served. So high tea actually describes the evening meal, the dinner, if you will, that what we would call today, the meat and potatoes, the hearty fare that you would find on your evening dinner table. That's high tea. Afternoon tea is about the china cups filled with tea and the little dainty sandwiches and the scones and the little cakes and things um, stacked on serving trays. So if you are having or planning on having afternoon tea today, I hope it is lovely. And thank you again for stopping by. I appreciate it. If you make a comment, please be kind. And uh, I hope to see you next time on my next afternoon tea video. Bye-bye.